everyone, I'm the Herping Kid and welcome to our journey where we explore snakes, their relatives and the world's growing passion for these magnificent creatures. Today we will be discussing the different types of venom. Let's get into it. The first venom is neurotoxin. A good example of a neurotoxic snake is a black mamba and a snouted cobra. Neurotoxin is a very fast acting venom which attacks organs directly. It, as I said, is very quick and it is pretty bad. So the speed of the venom is the symptoms will st start showing within an hour, the symptoms. And those symptoms we'll get into just now. And then death can happen from two to eight hours. It's, as, it's very quick because most other venoms really take a lot longer than two to eight, two to eight hours, but very, very quick. So symptoms include nausea, extreme weakness, or even paralysis, headaches, and later causing death, cardiac and respiratory arrest. So it's definitely some of the worst symptoms when it comes to the less extreme snakes. So next is the hemotoxic venom. Two good examples of hemotoxic snakes are the Bwemslung and the Twig snake. Both very docile snakes. You've seen my 10 deadliest snakes, number 10 and number nine, both the Bwemslung and the Twig snake. So the hemotoxin is a quite a slow acting venom and it attacks blood cells. Well, not attacks blood cells, but prevents fr blood from clotting, which is horrible. So symptoms can start showing within one to two hours. Death will only happen in one to two days from bleeding out completely. Very horrible way to die. So you don't get bitten. So symptoms include bleeding from any part of your body, but generally the first symptom is nosebleed. Just a simple nosebleed but it quickly turns into bleeding out of every way. And then exangulation, which is complete death from bleeding out. Horrible. So the last venom is cytotoxin. Two good examples of cytotoxic snakes are a puff adder and a gaboon adder. Two heavy body snakes but that's just our south african snakes <laughs> the cytotoxin moves at a moderate speed faster than hemotoxin but definitely much slower than a neurotoxin and it is it attacks skin cells so the speed of the venom is well, symptoms can start showing in under three minutes. Very fast in terms of that, but death is dependent on the infection. Generally, patients die of the, inf the affected area getting infected. Um, and that can be anywhere from three days to two weeks. So it's really, you can't really say how quick a patient will die. Symptoms include blistering, necrosis, fever, local pain, so pain on the bite side, and even compartment syndrome, which is a pressure buildup in the bitten area and or affected area, and it can decrease your blood flow, which is not great. So you'll have to get a... Um... So all those venoms are definitely nothing to mess with but for now like if you enjoy and consider subscribing for more snake and animal content every mondays and fridays and i'll see you next time
Artlist.io